All right, so this is the article. Toronto Blue Jays promote commit to starting minor league catcher who identifies as non-binary. Now, Ben Shapiro retweeted this, which is how I found it. And he was fooled by it. Of course, he does the follow-up tweet. If you can't tell that this is sarcasm, there's probably a, an issue here. He didn't know. He's trying to look cool after he oh, He's trying to say face even... by pretending it was like he knew the whole time? Yeah, I guarantee oh, it. He's a little weasel. Can't Posted say that. Posted at 6.30 a.m. Um... So a surprise move, the Blue Jays have called up minor league catcher Brady Deeker. So I'm fairly pretty familiar with the Blue Jays. Even through video games, you get a uh, a sense of their minor league system because that's in the game. And I'm pretty familiar with their catchers. So I'm like, who's this guy? Google their triple A team. He's not on their roster. Google their double A team. He's not on their roster. Um, Google, the, go to their main roster. He's not on there. And then they're just like, they're going to bring him up to bat and he's 207 he's batting 207 i'm like this is insane i messaged my friends i'm like look at this i i don't think i can support the blue jays anymore <laughs> honestly and they say the blue joy blue jays organization is delighted to make baseball history and be the forefront of the progress now every day can be pride day at the ballpark believable eric believable wait and, and just really quickly i'm sorry i have to interject here you guys or have gone completely off the deep end, changing the, the acronym every week, it feels like. Trudeau's yeah, out there. Two S O B G T B Q Q B S T S B B Q C I A. Like what what? <laughs> this is all believable, is the insane thing, Eric. So I keep reading on. Um, the move was met with un near universal acclaim. I'm like, how did I not hear about this? Well, that's uh, they, fake too. Universal acclaim. Give me a break. Every almost everybody yeah, loved but it. That, yeah. that could be a euphemism. Um, but then it says the human rights campaign, which is a, a DNC supported. Oh yeah. I, oh. I don't know if literally, but they fight for quote air quotes trans rights. They say the Jackie Robinson of the LTBP community. Trans people are always saying, Eric, they're acting like they were enslaved or if they had it as bad as black people, they love doing that. The trans activists again, believable. And then this is where it came, to, came to a head to me. No pun intended. Atkins pledged to put Deeker in the starting lineup immediately batting fourth. And this will displace Alejandro Kirk who said what he's a key guy for us, but he's totally committed to supporting the LGBT. Uh, he'll be DHing now, which is designated hitter and occasionally backing up deck. Deeker, assuming Brady is okay with that. And this is what that's right where I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, they're batting him fourth. And then it all starts to make sense. He's a catcher. Um, they're batting him fourth. And, and then it all came to, and then it's all like, okay, this. And then I went back and checked and saw that Ben Shapiro had replied to his own tweet and said that it was fake. But as you can see, there's still no, there was no marking whatsoever that it's. What does it um, say at the top? Can you? What's the little, the little red? It says woke, woke NR plus woke culture, hmm. and that's the insane thing, Eric. It was all completely believable. The Toronto Blue Jays are that believable in their cuckery. They sent the guy <laughs> down the pitcher to the minors, and it came out later, a couple days after they did that, that it was his idea. To be the catcher for the first pitch. He wanted to throw out the first pitch on Pride Night, the catcher, in real life, not satire here. And they didn't want him to do that. Because it's so gayer it like, if you if you receive. <laughs> he went to the Toronto Pride organization and met with the leader for like an hour, the director of it, and came up with the idea if he did that, how wait, great wait. it would be. So the National Review, though, I've never... Maybe they are... They are dipping their toes into the satire they're trying to do their babylon b thing but i've never known them to be they now the national as i as i'm familiar with them mm -hmm. they have been you know establishment conservative right they have been they have been not not absolute terrible shills but they have they have parroted you know they've you know they they like the machine. They want the they want the the Bush era. They're they're in there. They're the Romney. They're you know what I mean. They're not Democrats, but they're definitely not like America first. They're still like you know we are the establishment type of thing. So I don't know when they started dabbling in comedy. Well, these are their headlines. Straightforward headlines. Judicial watches defense of Trump goes wrong. 
whatever that's supposed to mean. They got the New York guy here, Starbucks, Vivek, things of the day. And I think, Eric, that this hurts your credibility. I mean, you get this big story, and it's okay if the... I feel like it's better if the title is clickbait and everything, but when you get on there, it should be satire because I mean, I guess it's good writing that the person, it is good writing that the person wrote it. That's so believable. It says more about the time that we live in than I guess the writing, but now when I read something from them and I'm, you know, on the fence of whether or not I should believe it, I'm, I might go with no, because they didn't label it as satiricals. How can I know moving forward if something's believable? Like Ben Shapiro didn't read, I don't think read the first f five paragraphs. It took me to like paragraph eight, a guy who knows a lot about baseball. Maybe my red flag should have been going up sooner, Eric. But... Turn it up, Jordan.